sold versus we buy houses there's a question here that we should address together that's going to be a lot of fun to work with so let's get into it so the question goes Hey, this is Ola coming to you live from my Empire Pro Studios. I'm the author of Smart Real Estate Wholesaling and the creator of 11 Days Challenge. On this episode, we're talking about sold versus we buy houses. There's a question here that we should address together that's going to be a lot of fun to work with. So let's get into it. So the question goes, I decided to take a different approach. Your house, is, your house sold in 30 days or less versus we buy houses with my bandit signs and have and have complete transparency with the seller from the jump so automatically they know it could take at least 30 days to sell their home so there's unrealistic so there's no unrealistic expectations obviously the goal is to sell asap but i think this is less misleading then we buy houses because we, we you're technically not buying the house you're finding a buyer in most cases your thoughts good 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 so we're talking about real estate wholesaling who real estate wholesaling is the heart and the science of finding deeply discounted properties locking them under contract as the buyer and then assigning the right to buy the property, the right to that contract, assigning it to an end buyer, uh, a, a natural investor, somebody who wants to buy to hold it, buy to fix and flip, or whatever other creative um, real estate investing strategies they want to use, right? But you sell and assign for a fee. It's an assignment fees, right? The assignment fees is uh, is why the real estate wholesaling business model exists. You can make anywhere from a thousand dollars to eighty-two thousand dollars, which is my highest. Okay, uh, that you can do, make a lot more than that. There are people that that have done one hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand uh, dollars wholesale assignment fees. It's doable, but my personal experience, the highest I've done is eighty-two thousand dollars. I'm looking to break that record. If you have a deal that you want to JV with me, okay. So now, with that being said that's what wholesaling is about and that's where this question is coming from okay you find such properties by marketing to mass marketing to distressed sellers okay uh people in pre-foreclosures divorce unwanted inheritances out-of-state owners tired landlords things like that right uh those are reasons why somebody will be tired of owning the property it's not worth the money they're getting or maybe it's negative cash flow they're not even making any money uh, there's a lot of those that exist out there, right? So that's where this question comes from. So with that understanding, let's dive into this question and dissect it one by one, okay? One phrase at a time. I decided to take a different approach. Your house is sold in 30 days or less versus we buy houses. Well, here's the thing. That's overthinking your business. That's overthinking marketing. I tell you, even after you've done that, you if you get into the mode of fixing uh what has been proven to work over and over again uh it's a rabbit hole you will never end you you're digging a hole for yourself that you will never stop you're just making it worse for yourself okay and i understand the mindset you want to be truthful you want to tell the truth you want to tell the whole truth but nothing but the truth okay here's the problem you were telling the truth all the while it's a marketing piece it's a marketing message obviously it's going to be a case by case the, the problem the solution you're going to provide is going to depend on that person's case right can you get to a point in your business where you made so much money you could actually buy a property could you partner with other people and actually buying the property see so you're, you're thinking of it as i gotta have my own cash to buy that's not true because obviously majority of real estate transactions in the united states of america is not people's money the bank lends them money so does that mean they didn't truly buy it i mean rethink your overthinking of this business you're overthinking the business we buy houses is the message is the marketing message and how you're going to solve that problem for each individual each lead he generates 
which should be your focus. Generating leads is your focus. If you are going to buy the deal by yourself or not, it's less of your problem. It's the least of your problem. It's not really your problem. The idea is to generate leads. You're thinking of it, I'm, I'm saying we buy houses because I should be buying the houses. No, you generate leads as a wholesaler, okay? You're generating leads. The investors will pay you money for helping them generate the leads. So in truth, if you really want to go technical, you're actually buying the house. Are you physically buying the house? What if you use an LLC to buy the house and you own the LLC? Technically, you didn't buy the house. The LLC bought the house. So if you get into this technicality conversations, you will never get out of it. You're wasting time when you should be spending your time generating leads. And you're changing the marketing message that has worked for years upon years upon years upon years. People that want to sell a house quick, fast, they don't want to deal with the realtor. They don't want to deal with the broker. They want somebody who wants to buy right now and give them an offer right now. They don't care about somebody representing their interest. There's no interest to represent. The house is the property is a liability for them. You're overthinking it. Let's continue. So, complete transparency. There's no complete transparency still. Because if you list a property, or let's say you are even operating as a broker, which you're not. Sounds like you're not really a broker and you're giving, you're putting out a broker marketing message. You know, when you say your household in 30 days or less, that's you trying to represent people's interest. That means they have an interest in selling in 30 days or less. They don't care. They just need to get rid of it. You're representing interest. And then you're breaking the law now since you want to obey the law so bad. You're now breaking the law by even being a realtor, a licensed agent when you're not one, right? Okay. Complete transparency with the seller from the jump. How is it transparent? You're not sure you're going to be able to sell in 30 days or less. In fact, based on this message or this question, I could tell that you are very young in the game, which means you don't know the market enough to even know if you could sell a property. You don't even know what the average sales, um, average sold date in that market is. So how would you know that it's 30 days or less? Is that not a lie? That's a lie already. You're promising something that you don't know you can deliver, okay? We buy houses, it's actually more true. You're not telling them we buy houses in seven days or less. We can, you may say we can close in seven days or less. There's a difference between we can close in seven days or less and we will close in seven days or less. You don't know if you will close in seven days or less either because it depends on the title work. If the title is not clear, you can't close. But we can if the title is clean and there's somebody ready to close, right? Again, you're leaving the, 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 the core message of being a wholesaler and an investor because you're getting overly creative and creative people, most of them are broke for a reason. Most creative rappers are not going to be Jay-Z, okay? A few people will be Jay-Z and understand that it's not about my ability to rap. I need to understand how to put a lot more value into this marketplace. Generating leads, bringing value to the marketplace at a massive value, at a massive uh, level, right? that's how you make the most money right so let's continue here transparency so you're not being transparent but so automatically they know it could take at least 30 days no you just said 30 days or less now you're saying at least 30 days again you're actually catching yourself in the middle of the lie already to sell their home so there's no unrealistic expectation. What, what do you mean unrealistic expectation? The expectation should be based on when you actually have a conversation with a person who is now a lead. A person saw we buy houses and they called you, you say, okay, and you take your 10 point questionnaire, you answer the question and say, okay, let me call you back and let's see the best way we can help you get rid of this property. That's what you're saying. You're solving their problems and the idea that because I said we buy houses on the marketing message, that means I have to buy the house. No, that's not true. It depends on their situation. Could you buy, could the deal be so sweet and you go in and say, you know what? You're the investor. You pay me 20 grand. Instead of paying me 20 grand, I would like you to pay me 10 grand so I can be a partner on this deal. And you just bought the house. You're overthinking a scenario that you don't have. You're not generating leads yet, but you're overthinking what happens after you generate lead when you should be focused on generating leads, building a pipeline of leads coming in every day, right? Obviously, the goal is to sell ASAP. But I think this is less misleading 
than we buy houses. No, it's more misleading because you cannot sell people's house in 30 days or less, especially when you have that expectation of yourself and you cannot deliver. Chances are you're not going to deliver. Okay. It's very good chance. You're not going to deliver misleading than we buy houses because you're technically not buying the house. No, you're technically, you're buying the house. You are being a wholesaler. You're representing your own interest to make profit from a person that needs to get rid of a property by helping them solve that problem. If you're dealing with a person that just wants to sell and you're representing their interest, you're listing the house on the market on MLS, that then you can claim all this claim. But here you're overthinking the business and you're talking about stuff you don't know about clearly. Okay. Uh, technically you're not buying the house. No, technically you're buying the house. Technically, you cannot sell the house in 30 days or less. You can't help people sell a house in 30 days or less. Technically, you haven't promised you're going to do that. You just said we buy houses. Technically, that's the truth because you're going to generate leads for investors, good leads, good deals that investors can buy. Technically, that's the only truth. Okay. Semantics It's basically semantics. You're worried about semantics when you could be focused on the only truth of the matter, generating leads so you can make money okay um you're finding a buyer in most cases that's my thought okay so the, your focus should be on generating leads if that's what you're interested in and you're completely newbie and you're feeling like your pipeline is not beefed up enough we can get your pipeline beefed up literally in the next 11 days you can have 10 20 30 people leads that will make you money coming through your pipeline and not only that you can skip 80% of the hustle in this game of real estate wholesaling. You can make six or seven figure income per year with or without closing deals. And you can actually 10x the number of deals you're doing. If that's what you're interested in, go to smartrealestatewholesaling.com and download the Smart Real Estate Wholesaling absolutely for free PDF. And if you're interested in the paper, Kindle or audio, you can also get that access to that as well and if you go there right now i'll give you a bonus real estate money secret my other book hopefully you've been enlightened and educated we'll see you on the next one and